For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Okay, so why is a member of LEAP not allowing somebody with marijuana convictions, non-aggressive, non-violent, no major write-ups in the jail? Is that a good enough reason to keep somebody in jail longer? Well, What's look, the point of the yeah, program? I look forward to ambush interviewing him about this if I ever see him. I've never met him. Um, but, you know, I guess, you know, off the top of my head, the only motive I could think of would be group, what I call group spite. He just doesn't like the activists, right? He doesn't even seem to like me very much. We've interacted some, uh, and you know, I guess he's still—I guess he's still in punishment mode to try and punish everyone he can for the fact that what's her name spit on his, you know, one of his guys' vehicles once. You know, apparently he was worked up about that, but that was years ago. Look forward to asking him what his what his real motivations are for something like this. Van Wickler had more than that one chance to release Rich because after Van Wickler's decision on the partial release, Rich also had a motion going through the Superior Court. It was for home confinement or work release. And the prosecutor said that's fine. And the judge, Kissinger, said that's fine. And the superintendent, Van Wickler, denied. You know what, on a more positive note, you have uh, set up something that will make it easier for people to visit Rich Paul. Tell me about that. Uh, yes, this Securus company that is running all of the visits now. The jail has basically gone humanless. You no longer show your ID, there's no security to go through. You walk in the door, which is usually open to the lobby. You walk in your booth, which you know is A through D and you put your pin number in and you visit for half an hour. So it's like a robot jail now? No humans <laughs> have to do a thing to help you visit your incarcerated loved one. I guess it's good and bad at the same time. Hmm. You know, hum at, least, ro at least robots don't feel spite toward you. Right. They don't start making threats like, drop the attitude or nobody's visiting anybody. <laughs> <sighs> well now, what are the restrictions like on cameras in there when you go in? Uh, how difficult or easy is it to film the, the, the mis mistreatment that, that you might get as a as a visitor? Um, it's easy if you don't ask. <laughs> I know uh, Ian had asked if he could do a tour through video of the new secure system and no, that was denied. Mm -hmm. So anybody who fires up one of those cameras while visiting miraculously gets away with it. That's good. Uh, any other thoughts as to what's going on? Um, well, beyond the denial on partial release and on home confinement or work release, Rich now has a bail motion in flight through the Supreme Court. That's with his appeals lawyer, Joshua Gordon. So Rich might get bail at this point, which sure beats an ankle bracelet or restrictive work release where you have to go back and sleep at the jail. So bail might happen coming soon. December 12th is the tentative date that we expect to meet Rich outside that door. They better it, not it, keep him until April, but it's still in the possibility right Is now. there something that people can do to participate in the bail release process and try and make that happen, or? Not really. Um, since it's in the hands of the Supreme Court, we wait for the decision. Do you know if there is any uh, leaning towards seeking a pardon at some point? Down the road, uh, the appeal will happen in January, and Rich says, um, you know, instead of three years of probation, if he does not win his appeal, he might propose something like six months of prison instead of three years of probation. But that's a big if on if he doesn't win his appeal, I feel he's going to. Do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM.
So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.